What's going on everyone and welcome back to Chasing Sunsets. Let's continue. So at the end of the last episode, we left off at the bar here with the girls having some drinks. Let's see what kind of crazy crap we get into. But before we hit continue, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe. All right, down the hatch, girl. Woo, this is what I needed. With significantly more reluctance than Mallory, Jay tosses back her tequila. Her expression afterwards gives you a pretty good idea about where the evening is headed. That, that's actually really good. Told you, it sneaks up on you fast though, so pace yourself. Amid the music and chat, you realize this is the most relaxed you've felt since Sicily. The drinks keep coming and the conversation flows easily. And so I pretended I didn't know how to ski, and Alex is all like, damsel in distress detected. <laughs> oh no. I woke up at 4am, and her hair was so out of control, she looked like a homeless yeti. Alex used to eat all the stuffing out of the Oreos and put them back in the carton. Wow, that's a dick move. The glasses continue to pile up as the evening wears on, and soon Jay is beginning to slur. So Alex... Huh? Last time we get drunk together, you shit my bed. <laughs> That's a face. Fuck my life. Is that true that she... What the? <laughs> this is going to be hard to read. Is it true that this one tried to talk you out of buying my total awesome birthday present? Jay's tipsy voice oozes flirtatiousness and her expression is adoring. What can I say? I know my amazing and beautiful sister. For a moment, she looks stunned, speechless, but quickly recovers. Oh my god, the things I'm gonna do to you. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the music. I said I'm gonna have to step up my gift game if I wanna keep up with you. Aren't you just a big fat liar? Ooh, her eyes there. Hold on, let's go back one. Like, wow. <laughs> Look at her blue eye. That thing is like popping. I gotta say, so far, for some reason, this scene in particular, this bar scene, it looks like... Mallory in particular looks very, like, clean and smooth and, like, really, really well done. When you compare it to how Alex looks, I think Alex looks like shit. <laughs> so, just to like the way his face is. Then you look at Mallory and, like, the hair and the eyes and the face and everything, like, everything looks really nice. Two more shots arrive, but you are set down, but are set down in front of you. Well, will you look at that? Oh, hell no. I've already voided my organ donor status with tequila this month. But it's your turn. You have to. Don't look at me. She's making the rules tonight. Sorry, ladies. I'm going to call it a night here. I guess I could do one more. <sighs> you're here. Two beautiful ladies. You're both. Dr you're all drinking. Let's do another one. What's the worst that can happen? Does that have to be tequila? Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. But let's add an incentive. Incentive? Laying on the table, Mallory places a glass in her navel and looks at you suggestively. We're doing body shots. Body shots? Seriously? You know the drill, guys. No hands. Mallory hums truthfully to herself as she sprinkles some salt under her neck. The saucy gleam in her eye she completes preparations by placing a slice of lime in her mouth. Alex? <laughs> Jay stares at Mallory with a complex mixture of apprehension, jealousy, and fascination. You're not just gonna leave a girl hanging, are you? <laughs> oh, fuck. That's her challenge accepted tone. Resigning yourself to the inevitable, you examine your options. Take the straw. Take the shot straight and or the setup. Oh no, hell no. She went through all that effort. Game on. <laughs> Game on. Huh? Shot glass balances precariously in her navel. You lean in towards the shot glass. Mallory's scent mixed with the smokiness of the tequila invitingly. Mmm. Feeling the heat radiating from her skin, you begin hungrily kissing the salt off her neck. Mallory gasps and leans her head back in response, somehow not spilling a drop. 
Her breathing intensifies as he tees her neck long enough to draw amused glances from bystanders. You can feel Jay's eyes on you as you finally pull the glass free and swallow the burning liquid. As you withdraw, Mallory locks her eyes with you invitingly. Without thinking, you bite the lime, which she immediately releases. Haha, <laughs> plus two of each. There's no further pretense as the shot devolves into a passion and erotic kiss. Right in front of Jay. <laughs> That's awkward for her. So, Alex, down for another, of course. Jay's voice is a silken purr, but you know better than to mistake it for nonchalance. Uh, sure, sis. You expect to see jealousy on Mallory's face at Jay's challenge, but instead only see a satisfied grin. Uh, you really don't have to. Oh, I want to. With no hesitation, Jay reclines supine across the table and gazes up at you enigmatically. Amateur hour is over. With practice, practice assurance, Jay sprinkles salt on the tan skin just beneath her breasts. Ooh, I like where this is going. Get it, girl. Winking, Jay picks up the other shot glass. Tightened her admin wall, she slowly pours the contents into her exposed navel. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Jay's eyes smolder as she places a fresh slice of lime in her mouth and stares at you invitingly. Then beckons you teasingly before closing her eyes and presenting her body to you as an offering. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Take this straight. No, no, come on. You gotta keep going. Let's kick it up a notch. Leaning forward, you can feel waves of heat emanating off her hypersensitive skin. She lies motionless, and her breathing barely disturbs a liquid in the makeshift cup of her navel. She's clearly making a statement. Time to make one of my own. You steal a glance at Jay's salted belly and the rise of her chest behind it. To indomitable woman. Yeah, plus two plus one. Oh, no, that's, and that's good. The sounds of the club fade away as you bring your lips to Jay's midriff and begin kissing her skin. Jay shivers beneath your touch and nearly loses some of the tequila pulled in her belly button. Even the fabric of her top can't conceal her hardening stuff as she surrenders to your touch. Languid languidly? That's a word. You trace your lips and tongue across her flesh, and Jay's breath begins to come in gasps. Time seems to slow as you bring your lips to Jay's navel and lap the spirit from her sculpted belly. Jay skin erupts into goose flesh. Goose flesh, really? Goose bumps? At your touch, and you hear a sharply intaken breath. Out of the corner of your eye, you see Jay's hand clenching and unclenching involuntarily. Jay's eyes are ablaze with hunger. Her breath escapes in gasps around the lime between her teeth. You move forward to bite the lime, but Jay releases the fruit and instead pulls you into a torrid kiss. I thought, she want, I thought she wanted to be careful. With desperate strength, Jay tries to pull you in fully on top of her as the feverish kiss intensifies. Finally, you're welcome. <laughs> Got him. Mallory's voice shatters Jay's passion instantly, and she stares at the other woman in shame. I, I don't want to come over me. It's not... Bullshit. You just needed a little push. A push? Mallory, he's my... Shut up. I just found out I'm the Mega Bloks version of his Lego mom, and I'd kiss them. You two aren't even related. How about I carry the Jerry Spring Torch for a minute? <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Jay gets unsteadily to her feet and leans on you for a little support. You're not having this conversation right now. In spite of her words, you can see Jay's body language is mostly relaxed again. I think I've had enough fun for one night. Take me home now? Sure thing, sis. Peanut should be back from the hospital anyway. I'll come with. <laughs> well, it's not as crazy as I thought that we got. Alright, back at the beach after midnight. In the middle of the night, Mallory stirs as the effects of the liquor begin to fade. Uh, 
I'd have been better off at the hospital with you, and far away from that evil tequila, Peanut. Moments pass without a response. Peanut? Where did you? Mallory steps into the hallway and listens for sounds of activity, but the house is dark and silent. God, I hope she hasn't run off. On the verge of going downstairs to continue her search, she notices the door to your room ajar. Huh. Quietly, she peers into the dim room and gasps in shock. Oh no. What is. No, no. I think I know what's happening. Welp. Um, Mallory kind of walked in on uh, Amanda looking at your junk, and uh, you ended up having sex with Mallory. It's kind of cute, the whole thing. And once the scene was over, we got to the screen. So that's where we are. I just saved. Let's see. Let's keep going here. Austria, EU. Luxury car's throaty roar breaks the forest calm as the sun sets. An attractive middle-aged woman puts the high-end sports car through its paces. Ugh, of course you would call now. The woman answers the call with more than a hint of annoyance. Wasn't expecting your call until tomorrow, Andrew. Serena, where are you right now? Calm down, dear. I left Miami yesterday, just like it, just like you told me to. Listen to me, Serena. This is important. Of course, I'm listening. Look, I know you sold me out to those ledger reporters. They have our fucking text messages. Don't be ridiculous, darling. I would never. Shut up. I'm not calling you to point fingers. I'm calling to warn you. I'm perfectly fine. I'm in Mexico, since you asked, and nobody knows I left. Fuck, Serena. You crossed the wrong people this time. There's nothing I could do for you. You're not making any sense, Andrew, but I could tell you're really upset. Pour yourself a drink and relax. I'm off the grid. You'll never see me again. There's a protracted silence before the judge speaks again. I know. In spite of everything, I would have protected you if I could have. Don't worry about me, Andrew. No more lies. No more secrets. I'm free. You will see someday. This is for the best. Goodbye, Serena. I'll always love you. I know. Boone hangs up and sighs loudly. Sounded like an important call. A long overdue one, perhaps. Let's not dwell on that. We'll be at the chalet soon. Sounds posh. It's quite rustic, actually. But the lack of distractions has its upsides. Serena looks at her passenger su suggestively. Think you can handle me? Dun dun dun! We've seen him in other scenes in the past, where he's working for the uh, big bad company there. I've cleared everything off my calendar today to do precisely that. Oh my! Keep talking like that, we won't make it to the chalet. Serena glances at her passenger expectantly. The blood drains from her face when she sees his icy expression. You read my mind. The sounds of distant sirens create the column of oily smoke rising into the air. Oopsies, he, he killed her. She's dead so. It's done. I'll fly back tonight and figure out how to deal with those reporters. Ninja plans. I hope you pack some shorts and Tommy Bermuda shirts. Tommy Bermuda? Tanalu? Yeah. Time to nip this in the bud. <clears throat> so, he killed her. So that company that we're going up against in court is killing people now. That's cool. All right, chapter summary. So, we're done that chapter. 30 out of 33, Mallory considers you an ally. 41 out of 45. Mallory wants you in her life as a friend or lover, so hasn't changed. Uh, explicitly, so those haven't changed as well. Both the same. 39 out of 44, 28 out of 30. Almost. Let's continue. Next chapter. Chapter 6. Downtime. Okay, so. This does seem. So we're back in Boston three years ago. Alright, so click. Alright, so we're doing a little scene with the mother here. It's a little short, but I think this is a good place to leave it for today before we start chapter 6. So this is the second last chapter. I believe there's seven total, so two more to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and there's a link in the description below to my Patreon. $5 US a month gets you exclusive content and 
unrated content. Currently going through Eternum, doing an all woman run. Just posted the newest Fresh Woman, uh, part of chapter two, I believe it was. Episode two, something like that. Definitely give that a look. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one.